Here's a look at a couple screenshots that I took of the Lyft and Uber driver apps a few weeks ago during uh, a major snowstorm that we had here in Minneapolis and St. Paul. As you can see, the prime time and especially the surge basically mirrored the weather radar map during the storm. Joe here with the Rideshare Guy and today we're going to discuss if it is worth it to drive during a snowstorm. There are a few downsides and things that you should look out for, but if you do choose to drive during a snowstorm, you can make excellent money. Now what, what can you expect during a snowstorm? Basically the roads slow, slow way down because there's, there's snow, the traffic slows way down and requests multiply. So that creates a, a surge, a constant surge in prime time environment. That surge in prime time will be constant throughout the entirety of the storm, especially near downtown areas. The main reason requests are higher or they multiply are because some passengers who normally would take the bus choose not to. They don't want to wait for the bus during the snowstorm, out in the cold, out in the elements. Also, some passengers' cars may not start. Some passengers' cars may be stuck on the street. And some passengers, I've even had passengers that have had fender benders the morning of and they've needed transport, obviously, because their car is out of commission. And also, requests may seem higher just because of how slow traffic is. Um, it's taking it takes drivers extra time to get to passengers as well as get to their destinations it just bogs down it slows it just makes those the lift and uber systems a lot less efficient when there's a weather event also a thing to keep in mind is the day after a storm um, especially during the a.m rush just a few weeks ago during the day after one of our major snowstorms um, I made $50 an hour from 7 to 9 a.m. Granted, it was a two-hour period, but it was still $50 an hour. It's $100 over a two-hour period. So what are the negatives? Um, obviously, driving during, during a snowstorm, during those conditions can be very dangerous. You're risking your car. You, you're possibly risking your safety. Um, it may not be worth it to you. The money may not be worth it to you because of those dangerous conditions. And also, I personally won't drive during a snowstorm once it, once it reaches a certain level of severity. So a few months ago, um, I actually drove during the beginning about three, four hours of a snowstorm we had here. But once it, get started, once it reached that certain level of severity where it started getting really bad, I decided it just wasn't worth it. I personally felt that no one should have been on the roads. So I decided to just head home and call it a day. And also requests can be really spread out. Um, since the systems are so slow and those requests are constantly coming in, they can come from anywhere. Um, I've been in the heart of downtown before and gotten a request from 15, 20 miles away, uh, way out in the suburbs. And as far as some recommendations, um, the first thing is drive at your own pace. If at any time during the storm you become uncomfortable, don't be afraid to just call it a day right there and then. Um, your safety should be paramount. You should be looking out for your safety first and foremost. Also, one thing I learned the hard way this year is tires are very important. Um, my tires, they weren't in the greatest condition. They weren't completely bald, but they were close. And during our first couple snowstorms, I was sliding around. I'd get stuck on some of the most simple inclines. Um, and then one time during like the fourth storm of the winter, we had a really bad winter here. Um, I got stuck a couple times on just a normal residential road and at that point I was starting to realize that my tires probably weren't ready for the winter. So then I, I went and replaced the tires and it drove my car drove fantastically. The, the tires were very important. Um, so yes, if at the beginning of a winter season, if you feel like your tires aren't, aren't um, in, in, in the right condition for the winter, I would recommend replacing them. Also your vehicle type. Um, I have a car, my car is front wheel drive, it's a sedan, it's a front wheel drive sedan vehicle. But there, you know, you, you do have a lot of cars that are four wheel drive. Um, I know personally, you know, there's a certain time in the storm where I'll, where I'll stop driving um, currently with my two wheel drive car, but I know that if I had a four wheel drive car, I would definitely stick it out for a lot longer. Probably the cars I think that should be on the road once that storm does get does get to a certain level of severity are those four-wheel drive cars. Those especially can be used um, during those snowstorms. They, they're the most effective for driving in those conditions. Another recommendation is to be picky with the with the requests that you accept. Um, since things are so much slower during a storm and those requests are constantly coming, you're always going to know that there's going to be another request. Um, yeah, if you're going for like say the power driver bonus, you have to keep that 90% acceptance rate. So this may not work for you, but if you're not, um, if you're driving during a snowstorm, 
don't accept those requests that are way far away. Um, if, if it's you know even a, even a request that's 10 miles away could take you a half an hour. It's really not worth your time. Um, and maybe you can also be picky to the point where you decide you're only going to accept requests that have surge or surge or prime time attached to them. Um, you don't have to just accept any request from anywhere except those higher higher um, those more expensive rides. And you should also use destination filters to your advantage. Um, if you're if you're seeing that you're getting requests from all over the place, use that destination filter. Uh, what I'll do, what I've used a couple times, the trick I've used is basically say I'll be on the southern part of the downtown. I'll use the destination filter to get me north and then back south and maybe even east west just across downtown. Um, you can use that filter to your advantage so that you can get rides, especially if you're near a downtown area, you're going to be getting those high, high surge, high prime time rides by using that destination filter. Lastly, I would especially recommend driving, like I said before, the day after the storm, um, especially if you don't want to drive during, during the, the storm when, it's, when conditions are the worst. That day after, um, especially during a weekday, is going to be really busy. The roads are still going to be slow, um, but the conditions aren't going to be as bad as they were during the storm. Um, so it's a day after. It's also going to. It's still going to be surging. There's still going to be a lot of prime time. It won't be quite like what it was during the storm, during the actual storm. But it still will be spiked. It still will be a lot higher. So let us know in the comments um, of if you've driven during a snowstorm, what your experience has been like, what kind of surge and prime time rates you've you've seen, how, what kind of fares you've had, if you've had really expensive fares, um, let us know. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the Rideshare Guy channel, please subscribe. Uh, thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.